Uh, Growth in Deek uh, has been kind of moving along swimmingly. So I think it was about eight months or nine months ago when I was on Tizen's show, I uh, said we'll be hiring a development team to go and build a client, um, which was kind of a crazy idea. And we originally said, yeah, you know, we'll hire like three people or four people and they'll spend a few months and we'll kind of just get the ecosystem where it needs to go. Then when we actually got into the process of interviewing people, it was just brutal. We, we received a lot of resumes and we had to give everybody a technical test and there was a bit of an issue. And then we eventually came down to um, two teams, an Argentine team and a Polish team, and we couldn't choose between them. We were like, we like these guys so much. So I just threw in the towel and I said, ha, hell, we'll just hire everybody. So uh, <laughs> the Growth Antique team is, is now at seven people. Uh, it's led by a wonderful Irish guy named Alan McSherry. Um, and uh, basically, they all came on board semi full time, full time ish around November, December. They kind of trickled in because we had to wait for them to finish other obligations and projects. And the whole team reached full strength about mid January. So, um, managing expectations, the, the first thing that we assigned them to do was just to understand the Ethereum protocol. So, the people we had hired are all very solid computer science people. They have good backgrounds like master's degrees and they've been developers for quite some time. So you can give them documentation, you can give them white papers, you can give them pretty complicated tasks to do and they can do these things and do them well and securely. Um, but the challenge is that this team, uh, while they had experience with distributed systems, they didn't have experience in the cryptocurrency space. So the first challenge for us with uh, this team uh, was to just kind of bring them up to speed and introduce them to all of this exotic and new technology. And that's what they're currently working on. So I gave each of them a, a pretty dense set of white papers and reading materials and some courses, including the smart contract Udemy course and so forth, just to get their uh, feet wet. And they spent basically two months reading documentation, looking at code and, and walking their way through uh, this ecosystem. And they've learned uh, a huge amount in a very short period of time. Um, now that that is through, uh, they're about 50% of the way, 60% of the way through the Ethereum uh, protocol. Uh, and they've implemented as they go code, and they've implemented about 15, 20% of the protocol in Scala. The goal will be to implement everything into Scala. And uh, there's kind of like a pedagogical phase where it kind of works, but it's not a production client. And then the next stage will be to, to transform that effort into a secure production enterprise grade client written in 100% new code at Scala. So um, I'm very impressed with Alan's leadership. You know, I get daily reports. Uh, they're using U-Track, uh, Gantt charts and everything. So your standard scrum driven development is, is occurring. You know, the other thing is we just started live standups with uh, with the Growth Indeed team. So on the 6th, we uh, broadcasted the first meeting and uh, every week thereafter, we intend on broadcasting a meeting. And uh, the roadmap, the Gantt charts, all these things will be made public uh, within the next few days or a week or two. It just depends on how long it takes our web devs to get it up and make it pretty and so forth. So uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get on was just to kind of manage expectations. Because when you say you're building a client, um, that can mean many things. And uh, it's important what people should expect, when they should expect it, and uh, what the purpose of this client is. So let's discuss that. Um, so with respect to the pedagogical phase, that is nearly ended. Uh, and uh, this team, the Growth Indeed team, has a, a pretty deep and detailed understanding of how cryptocurrencies work in general at this point, and a pretty detailed understanding of how Ethereum works. So um, now they're getting to the point where they're getting into the nitty gritty, like they're opening up the EVM, they're looking at each and every opcode, they're uh, trying to really understand this stuff at a level that only uh, people like Gavin Wood or uh, or people who've actually built a client would would understand it. Uh, this process will probably take another two months, in my estimation. Maybe a little faster, maybe a little longer. It depends on really uh, a litany of factors and you know the quality of documentation and other things. But so far, the documentation's been pretty good, and the code that they've read has been pretty good. Although we've noticed a few little issues between Geth and Parity, which were differences of opinion. But for the most part, the protocol is pretty well fleshed out. Uh, so exiting April, then the effort will be saying, okay, well, let's take this pool of work and transform this pool of work into a beta, something that people can install, they can run on their computer, it'll connect to the test net, and it will give us uh, basically all the functionality of Ethereum. Um, and then from that, the question is, how do we make it secure and enterprise grade? So how, how do we take it from something that works to something that works and you can trust with your money? 
uh, that process will probably take another month to two months, depending upon how fast they can move and, you know, a litany of features, as well as how fast the security auditors and other people move. So we will put all the software that we write through security audit. We have a very good firm we work with for other projects called Grim. We may retain them for that, or we may use a different firm. Um, we've also been collaborating lightly with um, the guys at Rootstock. Two of our developers are co-located in the same workspace in Buenos Aires. So uh, we do have a chance to talk to Sergio Lerner and so forth. And they've, they've made certainly a lot of really good innovations on their side, like Decor. And they have some overlay protocols for speeding up smart contract computation. And they've also improved the EVM. They're getting like a five times speed up over um, the Ethereum J EVM because of some of the things that they've done. So where our hope is to take some of those innovations and have them work their way into the growth and deep client as well. So it's kind of like managing expectations. Don't expect anything beta until June. Uh, and don't expect anything enterprise grade until maybe a few months thereafter, depending upon the review. But my hope is by the third quarter of this year that we will have uh, a completely independent code, 100% built from the ground up uh, Ethereum Classic client that is uh, in direct support of all the other clients, meaning you can talk to Parity, you can talk to Geth. Um, the other hope is that bundled with it, we'll have an IDE and all the tooling that people have built for Solidity, like Truffle and so forth. Um, probably pretty easy to do because we're going to use Electron as our wallet. We have a platform called Daedalus, which is built on top of uh, Electron, and we've already built a cryptocurrency wallet with it. And so we're uh, with the way we built Daedalus is it supports multiple currencies. So it would be pretty simple for us to upgrade that front end uh, and then uh, make it support Ethereum Classic. Furthermore, um, Electron was built by GitHub for the Atom editor. So it's probably going to be pretty simple for us to get an IDE to work well with that. And so you can have a development environment uh, and also your wallet directly connected to each other. So that's uh, what's coming down the pipe for Growth Indeed.